guys, welcome to the innovative video series where we check out the hottest stuff in retail tech. Today we check out Anagog, a company that deals with edge devices, essentially moving retail from cloud-based services to the cell phone. Let's go check it out. Joining us now is Offer Zipperman, the CEO of Anagog. Offer, thanks for being here. Give us a quick introduction to Anagog. What do you guys do? So sure. what we are doing is artificial intelligence engine that knows to sit in your phone, understand your persona by understanding different signals of the sensors on your phone, and also understand your real-time context. You're now walking, you're now running, you just stopped uh, driving, and so on. This is um, the first time that this kind of solution can be done only in the phone and not in the cloud. So the information stays in the phone, it's not shared to any other company. Exactly, and that's one of the major advantages when it comes to privacy. That's the first solution that allows you to leave all of your private information with you in your phone and not that anybody like Google or Facebook is going to take that to the cloud. Now I presume obviously this solution is meant for retailers. Oftentimes people feel creepy about the concept of you know, a retailer understanding exactly where they are and what they're doing. But you're saying this is different. Can you explain why? Absolutely, because so far as you have correctly mentioned, the retailer had to collect all of your information from your phone so that later on they can push their services to you. So they right. had to know who you are in their cloud. What we are now offering is that only your phone understands who you are. And now what happens is that your phone is looking at the retailer's cloud and tells the cloud, give me offering number five and number 62 because they fit my profile, but I don't want to tell you who I am. Okay, so they really just work directly with your phone. Exactly. So now your phone becomes the major brain of the system. Your phone learns who you are. Your phone understands that you like to run every morning. That's something that the retailer couldn't know today. So what the retailer needs to do is to prepare some offerings for runners and only the phones of the runners would be able to pick these offerings exactly at the right time. For example, you just finished jogging and now you will get this offering for these cool Nike shoes. Okay. This is new. It protects your privacy. It allows them to understand your real-time context and therefore it opens a huge amount of opportunities with full privacy. Now this is obviously fantastic for the consumer, but why should a retailer who invested a fortune in a cloud-based service want to invest in that? From two reasons. First of all, we are not against the existing solutions that they have, we are just complementing them. So currently they couldn't know anything other than what you bought in their stores. Now they can understand your lifestyle. Again, not them, your phone can understand your lifestyle and make sure to pull the relevant offerings from them. Second is that for the first time, your phone can understand your real-time context. So your phone knows what is the delightful moment, the best moment of engagement, so that if an offering should come to you, there's no point of offering it while you're driving your car. But rather when you are at home, after you had your dinner, this is where you are relaxed and you are willing to receive. This pure moment of engagement is something that we can do and they don't have that option today. Okay, now who are the consumers, who, not the consumers, who are your customers rather that you work with? So we started with the automotive industry and therefore we have major investors like Mercedes, like Porsche and, and so on. Uh, but now we are also opening this solution for retailers, for major banks, for the large telecom industry. Actually, everybody that has developed their own mobile application and would like to engage their customers in a much deeper way without infringing on their privacy. Okay, and where do you see this going in the future? Like, how do you expect to develop it going forward? So, because it is uh, uh, so relevant in so many domains, we call it the migration back to the edge device. This is why this entire solution is called artificial intelligence on edge devices. Edge devices? Edge, like 
uh, working on the edge like mobile phones. Okay. So instead of doing everything in the cloud, like all of us are doing for the last 15 or 20 years, we are moving it back to the edge. You can maintain your private information in a much better way. It can understand your real-time context in a much better way. So it's a win-win. Um, How do you hope this will affect your company in the next two to five years? We are already seeing a great deal of interest from all of these companies that are a little bit tired from uh, being dependent on the internet giants that are taking all of our private information from our phones into their clouds. So we are offering an alternative which is allowing to work in the device itself, in the phone itself, with all the brain now moving into the edge, into the phone, rather being in the cloud. And five years from now, we believe that this is going to be the mainstream. All the need to rely on a fancy, remote and unknown cloud is going to be removed because now our phones became much more sophisticated. Fantastic. Well, Alfred Zipperman, thank you very much for joining us. From thank you so much. Thanks.